What's good, y'all? It's your boy, F Twilight. So today, I'm going to get into the changes of Devil Jane in Season 4. You know, I'm a little late with this one. But you know, better late than never, even though never late is always better. But before we get into the changes, I do want to let you guys know that I stream on Twitch. I stream at twitch.tv slash ftwilight. So I'll put the link in the description below. So if you are interested in asking me questions live, talking about Devil Jin, talking about Tekken, or talking about Japan, you know, then pull up to the stream and uh, I'll catch you there if you're interested in that. So now let's get into the changes. Okay, so let's take a look at Devil Jin's new move. It's back forward 2-3. It's a mid-high string. It doesn't gel on block, so you can duck it and punish it. But on hit, it guarantees both hits. So let's take a look at it. It's mid-high. Minus 9 on block. But it can be ducked and punished. So you got to be careful with it. But it's a pretty good move. At the wall, you get a wall splat. So that's pretty good. So let's take a look at one of the first changes that Devil Jin has in Season 4. His Fly 3, or 3 plus 4, 3, when it hits a grounded opponent, has a different animation. So let's take a look at that. See that right there? So that is new. I'm not sure how useful that is just yet, but I'm pretty sure there's something there. The next change Devil Jin has is down forward 3, 2, 4 as damage increases across the board. So down forward 3 went from 10 damage to 12 damage. The, the 2 in that string went from 8 damage to 10 damage. And the 4 went from 16 damage to 20 damage. So that's good, you know. Uh, damage increases never hurt anyone. The next change is down forward 4 4 has increased range. I'm not sure what the old range was, but I know now it hits around 245. The distance from the opponent is around like 245. See? See, 250 it doesn't, but around 2. So just under 250 is the range. I'm not sure if that's different from Season 3 or not. But they said it's increased range, so I assume that's better than Season 3. So down back 2 has a new counter hit animation and at least a new follow-up. So let's take a look at that. Back 4. So you get dash up, down one plus two, laser. Now you get razor. So that's a pretty good change. So back two one has a damage decrease from 23 damage to 21. And the second hit also starts up one frame slower. So the next change is up 4-4 leaves the opponent closer when they get hit. So you can go back into that old back four kind of mix up. It's not guaranteed at certain ranges. Like if you do a far hit, it's not guaranteed. But if you do a close, I think it's guaranteed again. So there they go, much closer than before. Next change is Hell Sweep doesn't knock down on the second hit. So they get hit and they stay standing like in tag two and you're plus four. So you can do with that what you will. And you know, the damage went down from 30 to 28, but you know, that's fine. Wild Rising 1 has the range um, decreased on knockback after you get hit with this attack. 
Not something I really noticed. Wild Rising 4-4 also has the range increase. So this range seems to be about 208. Yeah, 208 to 209 is where it's at. And now you can buffer this throw. So this throw is buffered. And that is all the listed changes of Devil Gen for Season 4. So guys, let me know if you're a Devil Gen player. Did he get buffed? Did he get nerfed? Is he the same? Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the new move? You know? Share your thoughts with me and let's talk some Tekken. Alright guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.